What's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here and Happy New Year 2016. We have we have made it to 2016. Thank God the world didn't end four years ago or else I wouldn't be able to make this video. Um, and what this video is going to be about today is the new Arma 3 Desolation mod. Now for those of you guys that don't know, I'll try to explain it the best I can from everything I've read about it and seen about it so far. Is it kind of is reminiscent to like a Daisy Vanilla or kind of like Daisy Standalone, but maybe it runs a little bit better. Definitely not as many uh, enterable buildings or anything like that, but who knows? Maybe this will be the, the mod to blow away all other mods. There's always that possibility whenever you start playing a new mod of, you know, maybe this is going to be the next great big thing, or it could be the next big flop that's just going to be over in like a month or so and it won't even fucking matter anyways um it looks like i did spawn outside of cherno let me run up here real quick and figure out if that is correct um there's also different ambience uh, slash environmental sounds oh yeah i spawned uh actually really close to below the airstrip so i'm not going over there um, but yeah, there are custom uh, environment sounds. Uh, there's like different weird birds and shit going on in the background. I'm not exactly sure uh, <coughs> why there are these weird birds. I don't see any weird birds. I don't see any weird birds anywhere. But anyways, enough of me talking about fucking birds. I have absolutely no hunger and I have absolutely no thirst. So that's a good thing. And then there's another weird bird. Uh, that is, that is super awesome. This is definitely not the standard, uh, Chinaris sounds that I'm used to, so it's gonna take me a while to get used to these. Um, but yeah, something that really attracted me, obviously, was the fact that this is like a Daisy Vanilla type mod. Um, this was originally Day Zero, I believe, which there was a Day Zero Arma 2 mod, I believe. Um, not exactly sure how popular that got, um, but I'm pretty sure that it's not that popular anymore, at least on Arma 2. Um, so we're definitely going to be giving this mod a try. Uh, and honestly, you know, like with every series, all the, uh, like the continuation of the season will completely and totally depend on the views and everything. This may be a pretty short series, maybe like three or four episodes, or it could be a full ten link or ten episode length season. So I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see what we can get into here. But uh, I do have my first zombie zagro to me, and it's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about starting off with a macrob and seven fucking mags. That's kind of a that's kind of a weird number of mags to start off with. But, I don't know, I mean, because the zombies could be super fucking powerful, and it could take a few shots, who knows. But, I definitely don't want to fire this thing too close to the road and or Cherno, so I'm trying to just take this zombie aggro just a little bit further west, not too close to the airfield, and then I'll kill him over here in these woods. Um, <clears throat> but while I'm just running around over to below the airstrip, I thought I would go ahead and talk to you guys about some of the new games I got and some of the new videos that are going to be going up here pretty soon. Um, so, obviously one of the first games, I mean, I've had this game for a while and I've tried playing it before, but I've just never been able to find interest in it until now. Uh, and that's H1Z1. H1Z1, I don't know, for some reason or another, like I said, in the past it just had no interest in it and like I would try to play it for hours and hours and I'm just like I I'm bored but I don't know lately I've just been really getting into it and the, the whole crafting style I guess probably because the two games that I'm about to mention the two newer games that I'm about to mention that I'm going to be doing videos on here shortly has a lot of crafting involved in it but I don't know like just something about H1Z1 now just really appeals to me and luckily enough you know Jack and Twee were able to get the game as well I think it was on sale for like 12 or 13 dollars on Steam or something obviously US dollars for those of you that don't know I'm from the US um, <clears throat> but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and kill these zombies hopefully and Jesus they are staggering around like fucking wild men got that one can I get this one? Yes, I can. Okay, but anyways, 
so yeah we're gonna be doing more videos on h1z1 hopefully you guys will like them i mean the numbers were always there for those videos as far as views and everything but as far as my interest like i said it just wasn't there but now it is so i don't know i mean i guess it's kind of like when you're a little kid and you don't like uh you don't like vegetables and shit like that and then as you get older you know, you start to discover, well, not only are vegetables good for me, but they actually don't taste that bad. Maybe for some people it's different, I just know that that's for me. I mean, I'm just trying to say that fucking people's taste and things change, you know? But H1Z1, the point is, H1Z1's coming back. And then the other two games that I ended up picking up for the Steam Winter Sale, uh, the first one was Ark. Don't really think that I need to explain too much about Ark. Uh, it's a kind of dinosaur crafting survival type game. Uh, I haven't really played too much of Ark yet. Uh, probably only about 30 to 40 minutes or so. Um, not really sure how I feel about the game, but we're definitely going to give it a shot and make a few videos on it at least. If you guys end up liking it, then obviously it'll stick around. Uh, then the second game I ended up picking up because it was so cheap on Steam. And uh, you might actually have a few more days before the Steam sale is over to check out uh, all these games that I'm mentioning. But uh, the second game is Rust, and holy shit, there are some gunshots over here. Sounds like automatic rifle. There it is again. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about coming over here. Um, but yeah, the second game was uh, Rust. Um, you know, like I said, the the whole crafting games is probably why I'm getting back into H1Z1 is because of all the, the different games where crafting is a very, very big part of the game itself. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to doing videos on both of those, and I hope you guys are looking forward to watching those videos. And don't worry, I mean, you know, I remember someone commented maybe a week or so ago on one of my videos, and they just said, you know... Just, just stick to Daisy and, you know, Daisy Overpock and that kind of stuff. And, you know, don't worry about those kind of videos. Those kind of videos are always going to be here on the channel, probably until the channel one day is over. Um, so, so those kind of videos are always going to be around. It's just that, you know, every once in a while I kind of want to, you know, expand my reach as far as the games that I play and you know the videos that I make are concerned and just kind of see what what hits what misses and all that kind of good stuff but now that we're finally over here at Belota I can shut the hell up about the videos that I'm going to make and start talking about the video that I am making right now um but I yeah, like, I don't know if this guy is still over here, if he ran off, maybe, or if he's dead. There's a zombie aggro to me. I don't want to shoot him too close to the airfield. I don't want to give away my position. And I don't want anybody else thinking that there's someone over here. So I guess I'll just take this zombie in here with me. <clears throat> with my luck, I'm going to run up these stairs right here, and I'm going to get shot. So this is probably going to be the... No. Okay, maybe not. I was about to say, this is probably going to be the end of the video right here, is just me getting shot running up these stairs, but it looks like I am safe for right now. There's a dog barking in the background. Ooh, Tekistani. I will definitely take some Tekistani clothing. I can't really see the uh the entire outfit that i'm wearing but i i know that it does blend in with the uh with the environment a little bit better so not exactly sh sure how how well those very bright pants that i was wearing there would uh would blend in Let's see what kind of loot spawned up here what the fuck is that is that a dress what the hell is that huh it's a Navy personnel vest. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's it's going to be good for storage. So, I mean, I guess I'll take it. I mean, it kind of blends in and it kind of doesn't. These fucking ladders are tricky, man. If anybody's played Arma 2 before, you know how tricky these ladders can be. Arma 3 ladders are kind of tricky, but not not definitely not as bad as uh, Arma 2 was. 
But it doesn't really look like there's any good loot in here. That guy with the AK or whatever kind of automatic rifle he had probably got the best loot. Is that a player? No, that's not a player. If it was a player, they would have shot at me by now. Or at least said something. That's probably a zombie. But here's a player right here. This looks like somebody twisted his neck around. Ooh, I'll take that. And fucking... Holy shit. I thought it was far enough away from that zombie where he wasn't gonna make contact with me. Is there anybody in there? No. No loot either. Oh, I don't know, man. See, this is one of the reasons I always hate going to Belota, is because I come over here with the intentions of getting some great, awesome loot, and it just ends up being a fucking bust. With Jerry can. Maybe I can throw it at a zombie. 